my bow out today and figured I'd do a little video. He's uh he just ate last week a medium rat because uh, I'm running out of larges, so he's eating a medium rat every two weeks, and uh, he's doing great. And here's his cage. Like I showed it in uh, another previous video, the Animal Plastics T8. And I, I got the cage door locks. I'm not sure if those are necessary. I got them because I wasn't sure if the snake would be able to escape, like be able to slide this because if it's closed, I wasn't sure if he'd be able to slide it. But I don't think they can. So I don't, I don't know if the cage door lock is... 100% necessary. It's a $20 option on the cage. So, it'll save you some money if you decide not to get it. I don't think, I don't think a snake can get out of one of these without it. Um, and as far as lighting, definitely the LED lights are, are worth it over the fluorescent light. Just because uh, they're just brighter and just, they're just better. And they'll last longer and all that. And uh, those are the vents. So it's got vent holes on the side panel and the back panel. There's, there's plenty of ventilation. You don't have to worry about any of that. And uh, you can use whatever substrate you want. I chose Aspen just because I like the look of it in this new cage. Uh, newspaper would obviously be easier to clean, but Aspen makes it look better. And uh, that heat panel works phenomenally. I highly recommend it because I don't, I don't think the heat tape would really... I mean, the warranty on the heat panel is like 10 years or something, and uh, they last for like 50 years, so you actually save money by buying one of those, because uh, they, they last so much longer. Heat heat tape, there's no way heat tape would last that long, and uh, or a heat pad, so you this thing will end up paying off for itself in the long run, and it's super nice, you don't have to worry about belly heat, you don't have to worry about um, you know raising it up to, to vent it or whatever. You can put this cage wherever you want. You don't have to you don't have to do anything. Just plug it in, put it on a put it on a thermostat, and it kicks on and off. It's very probably the best heat. It's the heat best heat the best heat source you can get, and highly recommend it. And overall, so you can get one of these cages shipped to you right now, no accessories for like two hundred two hundred ten dollars something like that. Um. Well, ship to you is another forty-eight dollars to ship, so about two hundred fifty dollars to get one of these things shipped to you. Um, plus all the accessories that mine has. So the cage door lock is twenty dollars. The LED lights are forty-five, and then the heat panel was like another hundred hundred dollars. So this whole enclosure came out to about um for, about four hundred dollars. But I think it was worth it. And uh, watch him go in there. But yeah, I'm thinking about getting one of these for my blood python. I'm just not sure. I have the fluorescent light and the another pan, another top panel laying around. So I was thinking maybe I can just get it with the fluorescent light, save some money on the lighting. And then I don't know if the blood python would need a heat panel. I could probably save money there too. Uh, just because the blood, blood pythons are... Or do better at 78 to 80 degrees, which I'm pretty sure I can achieve that with something cheaper than a heat panel. But for the boa constrictor, it's definitely a good buy because they um, they need a higher temperature. Like his right now is at 88 degrees, and he seems to be doing really good on that. But uh. Yeah, the LED lights, another thing I noticed, and I also said in my other video, was that they bring out the colors, they bring out the cage more. They're brighter, more efficient, and so they everything just pops more than the fluorescent light. And also the other problem I have with the fluorescent light is the fluorescent light would be like right there, and it would like kind of blind you when you're trying to look into the cage. So you come in and look in there, it would kind of blind you a little bit, whereas the LEDs are recessed into the plastic, so it's it's a lot easier to kind of look in this cage and not get blinded by the light. But the fluorescent light looks fine too. It it lights the whole cage up just fine. Just just not as bright and not as not as refined as the LED lights. So I I'd highly recommend um 
those kinds of lights. But yep, he's doing great. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. But yeah, he like I said in my other videos, he's about five and a half feet or so. And uh, he may be maxing out, I'm not sure. But I'll keep you updated and I'll do a video on my, uh, my blood python shortly.